Hi, I'm Stefan and this is a video about my course on DCTLs. With a DCTL you can write your own code and manipulate colors in a different way than with the native tools inside DaVinci. And this can be very useful, so let's jump into DaVinci and I will show you some examples. In the first example here I'll use the native tools inside DaVinci to increase saturation. We can observe that the saturated colors quickly blow out and really look nasty in the image. For comparison, I now use a custom made DCTL. If I increase the saturation sliders here, we are getting more pleasing results, which is based on the underlying mass of this DCTL. Here is another example. First I'm using the saturation sliders of DaVinci and for comparison, now the DZTL. A DZTL can also be useful to create more color density to specific U values. When we look at film, we can see deep rich colors. Here an example from La La Land and from Battle of Sexes. The colors captured by digital sensors can sometimes look very garish. When I'm trying to use U versus luminance to create more density to the red, we see what problems it leads to. This density detail here again leads to more pleasing results. Here another example, first the U versus luminance tool. And now the DZTL. There are some tricks how to create global density with power grades that leads to better results than using the U vs Luminance tool, but it is limited if you want to fine adjust certain U values. The mass inside those DZTLs I showed you were based on a concept called tetrahedral. Tetrahedral transformation is a method that involves mapping each corner of the cube to a tetrahedron. The advantage of using tetra is that it allows for precise color adjustments throughout the cube without affecting the gray ramp, which is important for maintaining the overall tonal reproduction of an image. Freely available tetra DCTLs often come with a multitude of sliders. Some of the manipulations may also be unnecessary or not particularly useful. With JetGDP's assistance, we will be modifying existing code to streamline some details and make them more user-friendly by reducing or combining sliders. By desaturating those color samples here, it becomes clear that each color has a unique brightness value. Blue is the darkest, yellow is the brightest and the other colors fall somewhere in between. With the common DZTLs, reducing saturation causes the colors to turn pure white or pure black. To adjust the brightness of colors, a second slider is needed. In my course, I will teach you how to modify the DZTL code to merge two sliders into one. With this modification here, you can quickly desaturate specific U values while automatically adjusting the brightness to a fixed value of your liking. Throughout the video course, there will be occasions where both JetGPT and I make mistakes. I left some of my failures in the video course because I believe that failure presents an opportunity for learning and improvement, especially when it comes to coding. Furthermore, I will also share my favorite DCTLs that I found online. I will show you how to install and test those DCTLs, and I try to categorize most DCTLs, giving you a good overview of the DCTL world. You can find more information about this course on my website. Have a nice day and see you next time.